People from Nottingham and Nottinghamshire have shared their personal stories of overcoming thoughts of suicide or bereavement by suicide. By telling their stories, they aim to show that recovery and remaining hopeful is possible. If you are feeling vulnerable right now, this might not be the right time to watch. Visit www.nottinghamshire.gov.uk forward slash suicide for information on how to access support. My experience of uh, suicidality and um, suicidal sort of ideation uh, probably started when I was about 15. Um, I'd been sort of struggling with my mental health for about two years before then. Um, and at that time, it kind of just felt like things were getting quite um, a lot and I felt quite lost. Um, and that's, I think, the first time I remember having these kind of creeping thoughts of potentially, you know, would it be better to not exist or to just put an end to things? Um, and I remember feeling quite scared by those thoughts, but it also felt kind of comforting in its own way. Um, from there, um, ever since then, I've had sort of periods of, or well, episodes of um, feeling suicidal or, again, those kind of creeping thoughts just asking why don't you just um or wouldn't it be better if you just um and each time i have one of those kinds of episodes it can last from like a week to a few months and every time i feel the same kind of feelings of fear um and also kind of comfort, which is really difficult to sort of resign yourself to and to make sense of. Um, I've continued to sort of struggle with my mental health uh, throughout my teenage years, through, through my 20s. Um, I've accessed different kinds of support networks, um, but my experiences with sort of negative mental health problems and the suicidality that sort of come along for that with me um, has also been sort of impacted by my experiences with suicide in people I know and love. I, I went to my GP uh, when I was 18 um, and I explained to them that I was feeling incredibly depressed, um, I was having trouble sleeping, um, I felt overwhelmed and uh, my GP recommended I try medication and um, talking therapies. Um, I didn't tell my family until I was about 19 that I was struggling. So um, that was quite a shock to them. Um, but, you know, I know that they've always wanted me to get help as well. So they've been really good at trying to find places for me to go, people to see, avenues to look into in terms of feeling better about myself. Um, and it is an ongoing process. And I think that, unfortunately, most mental health issues and things like suicidality don't go away with the flick of a switch. Um, it does take sort of ongoing work and it does take ongoing experimentation to find what helps you, but also to find new things that help you. Um, so I've, I've been very fortunate from that point of view. I know that I've had a lot of help. Um, and eventually did find a medication that I can honestly say makes me feel human. Um, and that along with various other little things that I, I've put into place for myself has really allowed me to pursue life in a more sort of normal way, in a, in a sort of healthier way. I find that routine helps. Um, so obviously at the minute I'm, I'm working and I, I'm studying at the university. So knowing that there are things that I have to do and people that rely on me to do those things, that is quite like a, a good sort of brain reset sometimes to be like well I can feel terrible and miserable right now especially if it's in the evening when you feel quite isolated and you know people have wound down from work and things um, to say to yourself well okay it is feeling pretty terrible right now but tomorrow morning 
you know, at 9 a.m. I have a meeting that I need to be in and God, there's nothing worse than having to be in that meeting. I'm really not looking forward to it, but knowing that that is something that you've signed up to do, you're scheduled to do, people are going to be there expecting you. That's quite a good sort of like an anchor point to say, okay, well, I have to make it through to then. It just, it does feel like I'm seeing more opportunities now than sort of withdrawals and, and difficulties. We have this idea that if someone is suicidal or if the word suicide is used, that is almost like that is the end. It's not because people are suicidal across the planet and it is something that people deal with in different ways, but it is not the end of anything. It is just another part of mental health. It is, it's another part of being human. It's very much your neighbors and your friends and your work, your co-workers. And it is not all massive trauma. Sometimes it is just these little insidious thoughts telling you these horrible things. Um, and I wanted to share what I've gone through because I think that I don't, well, I don't think that I'm alone in the journey I've had. And I think it's easy to overlook suicidality in day-to-day -day life. For more information and details of support services, visit www.nottinghamshire.gov.uk forward slash suicide. For immediate support, call Samaritans on 116 123.